Oh man, I'm so nervous for clinicals to start this week. Let me check my email and make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, what? Clinicals starts in a month? Bruh. Here I was thinking it starts tomorrow. All right, this is good, it's good, good sign. I'm gonna use this time to study, catch up, practice all my techniques, and just constantly study. Okay, this will be fine, I got this. Study every single day. I'm gonna study tomorrow, all right. Studying is going very well. Oh, bro, I'm trash. <laughs> oh. All right, look at this. Four to six weeks later. Oh my God, I'm doing clinicals. What's good, YouTube? Welcome to the video. We are back with your boy Sammy right here. Let's you get guys, it. Whatever. We are heading to our first day of clinicals. Finally back doing PT stuff after not doing jack <laughs> for when, when, when was the last time we had class? We ended the class in like June, right? 16 months ago, bro. 16 months ago. But we didn't even have hands-on since like March. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting for sure. So we're heading to orientation right now. It starts in like 30 minutes-ish. So we did some documents, we did some forms that we had to sign, went to the library earlier to go print them out. Hopefully all goes well because I do not remember a single word of what was <laughs> taught. So we'll see how this goes, guys. Snacks that I can't eat, unfortunate. No, I cannot. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. All right guys, so we just got out of orientation. I'm at the gym right now. So basically we went over your typical orientation stuff, right? We went over some documents, some safety procedures, etc. So it turns out there's going to be a good amount of work that we have to do outside of clinical, so we're gonna to have to do a lot of homework assignments throughout the weeks. Interesting development though, at the clinical site that I'm at, there's actually an ongoing strike that's going on. So with this strike, a lot of the PTs aren't in the clinic, obviously because they're striking. So what's happening with the students is that we're going to be actually placed in different locations up until the strike is over. They thought the strike was gonna end last week, but the strike is still ongoing. So instead of outpatient for my first day with my CI, I'm gonna be doing outpatient tomorrow with a different CI and then the next day we're gonna be doing inpatient PT and then we're gonna be alternating every day until our CIs are back so kind of interesting that we're, this is happening but I mean we're adaptable and I I don't mind doing a little bit of inpatient work I'm, I don't mind doing any PT work right now guys I'm like I haven't done anything so I'm pretty excited to just to be back I'm at the gym right now about to hit some quick legs so let's get it all right guys day two sipping on my cold brew 15 calories, which is pretty good, because definitely gonna start to need the coffee and the caffeine. The fact that it's only 15 mm -hmm. calories is kind of nice. So if you guys notice that I'm switching camera quality, it might be because I'm switching between my phone and my camera. So I don't want to be carrying around my camera, obviously, while I'm in the clinic. So I'm probably gonna get some weird looks if I'm doing that. And I don't want to be known as that guy with the camera, even though eventually that probably is gonna come out. I'd rather not, because I'm gonna be either known as the guy with the camera or the guy with the freaking gallon water jug. So I'd rather not be that guy, you know, if possible. On my way to day two, I don't remember if it was 10 or 10.30, so I'm heading there a little early. I'm trying to get there maybe 9.45, 9.30. Fingers crossed it's gonna be a good first day of actual PC work. Let's get it. No, 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 my bus. Shit, dang it. Okay, so I missed the bus, so I'm going to take an Uber. <laughs> We are off to get our new IDs printed. <laughs> I can't wait to be all cool and fancy. Okay guys, so we got there, but we realized that we needed a signature on our form that we got. And I forgot my ID, so we have to go back and grab that stuff. And then come back, so 
we'll see you guys when we're back here. Good. Got it? We're good. Last one in the clinic, baby. Day two done. Okay y'all, back from day two. Day two was a long one, especially given that I'm not used to working for eight hours. I'm just used to sitting on my ass and watching dumb YouTube videos all day. <laughs> but overall, pretty great day, honestly. My CI for the day, who was a substitute CI for the time being until my real CI comes back was honestly pretty dope. He was very receptive to my learning style. He achieved the right balance of giving me enough guidance while at the same time allowing me to just kind of figure things out myself. So I like that a lot. I'll give you guys like a breakdown of what my day looked like. So we started off just getting to know each other. He's orienting me with the clinic, his treatment style, etc. We saw a lot of shoulder patients today. I want to say of like the six patients we saw today, five of them were shoulder patients. And I was very happy because at the end of the day, he was like, I'm very impressed with you. Like if you were BSing the entire way, you did a really good job. Throughout the day, he was kind of giving me questions and quizzing me and stuff. And I honestly, a lot of the time I really felt bad because I said, I don't know, like, I don't remember. I even messed up with naming some basic anatomical landmark and I was like, felt so bad and felt so stupid, but he was very understanding. And so by the time, from the beginning of the day, it started off with a lot of guided observation, but by the end of it, I was running a session, so. I was pretty happy with that. I finally got some hands-on work with shoulders, goniometry, manual muscle tests, mobilizations, did some documentation. Like, man, I feel so tired, especially today. Guys, I only had 400 calories in total today, as of right now. <laughs> so I'm fucking starving and brain dead. Overall happy with how day two went. So the clinical coordinator told us we're switching up the schedule. So tomorrow I won't actually be going to acute care. I'll be sticking with the same CI, sticking with the same schedule, um, 10 o'clock to 7 p.m. Gave me a little bit of homework, so I'm supposed to review um, a lot of the knee. So we're gonna be doing a quick mini lecture session, I guess, or like manual therapy lab with myself and one of my classmates, Logan, you guys saw her earlier, but we're gonna be doing reviewing everything about the knee. The shitty part is that I was supposed to work seven to three tomorrow, so my workout is not gonna happen, but unless I decide to wake up at 6 a.m., even though I'm exhausted right now, so. And I have to do some studying and reviewing so I don't look like a friggin' idiot tomorrow, but. All right, guys, I'll see you in the morning. Have you, like, Okay guys, so we are done warming up. We're about to hit our top set of a single, 265. I'm feeling a little wonky today, so I don't know if I'll be able to hit this, but we'll see. No, I think I was stuck. Okay, I got stuck. So, probably 255 for sure. Maybe 260, but not 265 today. It's okay. Okay guys, so I made the mistake of not eating a lot yesterday, which I think kind of killed my brain productivity. So I'm gonna try to eat a fat ass breakfast today, get to the clinic early, do some studying, so I can impress my CI and get a gold star, and then, and then we'll just take it from there, I guess. Round 15, Blue Island 26. <laughs> okay, finishing up a note, because I get to do notes now, so that's pretty sick. And me and Logan are gonna review the knee after I'm done with this bad boy. And I just chugged a Red Bull, so. It's gonna be an interesting day.
We are all done for the day. Last patient Logan's working on. I am just doing chart reviews early for Monday's patients with my actual CI. Yay! Put the guys, what are you doing? It's nine o'clock. We're gonna be late. Ugh, what am I gonna do with you guys? Just kidding, guys. So I know you're probably confused. So I'm confused too. I was supposed to. Worked 7 a.m. this morning, but then I got a message last night that CI's schedule switched, so I'm gonna be working at 10 o'clock now. So I was gonna work out in the morning, you know, get it all done in the morning at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. rather, but I just was so tired that I did not even get out of bed. So it's around 9 o'clock right now, heading to work early since I started 10:30, and then yeah, we'll see how today goes. So last night I spent a good amount of time working on work at home, logging my hours, logging my patients for school to keep track of which patients I'm seeing and what kind of the diagnosis I'm seeing. I was also doing some research to find some effective interventions for patients with a specific diagnosis that I saw because my CI wanted me to do that. So I was doing that. Happy that I got a good amount of sleep last night. I feel pretty refreshed today. So we'll see how today goes. Protein powder. And that's it. Okay, y'all. Today I was pleasantly surprised when I came to clinicals because my CI was there. So we finally got to work together. Although it was a little bittersweet because I really enjoyed working with the other therapist the last two days. Learned a lot from him. But yeah, I'm excited. So I technically have two CIs. One's my primary, one's my secondary. I worked with both of them today. Sort of getting used to these eight hour days now. But my first instinct when I leave clinicals is that I want to go get food or grab a drink or something. But I realize I'm on a diet, I can't. And yeah, one thing that I'm really nervous about but excited about at the same time is the fact that I told my CI like, hey, I want to be pushed. I want to really excel in my skills with this clinical. So I really want you to push me, push me to my limits. And in of itself, this clinical is kind of known for being very difficult. So on top of all the assignments and on top of that pressure, I am a little nervous, but yeah, man, like no pressure, no diamonds. So I'm excited, guys. This is gonna be good. Okay, it is Friday, y'all. We made it through week one. Let's finish the week strong. Yes. 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 Chart review time. Yes. Okay, I'm on lunch now. Um, one of my patients didn't show up, so I spent some time with my CI just going over some more hands-on techniques, some reviewing. We did cervical range of motion, shoulder mobilization stuff. Just to review, um, I already did that stuff earlier in the week, but I wanted to get her input and her two cents on it. I actually saw a breast cancer patient earlier today, and I was thankful that she let me observe and ask questions because it was really interesting. I've never worked or seen a breast cancer patient in PT, so it was interesting to understand how PT fits in the role of a breast cancer patient's recovery, so that was nice. But yeah, finishing up lunch, finishing up some assignments, and doing some more chart review. Always working, guys, always working. <sighs> All right, guys. End of the day, Friday. It's a pretty slow day. I think I only saw like three patients. Like we had a bunch of no-shows. And yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, but like the whole clinic is transitioning to an entirely new uh, electronic medical record system. So everything is all wonky. No one knows what the hell they're doing. Plus the fact that I still don't know what I'm doing as a student. So it's like just a lot of confusion and a lot of frustration. So. I'm pretty exhausted after my first week, and I'm about to just get this workout on. And yeah, overall, pretty good first week, first good way to end my first week as an intern. 11 more weeks to go, guys, and I'm excited to see what kind of growth and what kind of encounters I'm going to have in the future. Yeah, oh, what's up, baby? But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I intend on doing an actual breakdown day in the life video. Eventually, once I get my routine kind of settled in, 
in a couple weeks here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to smash that like button, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye. Later. Mwah. Guys, what an interesting day it's been.